Welcome to Lixcode. In this episode, we're going to be creating an event handler with a name validation system. An event handler will handle all of your events and the respective files and categories inside of the events folder in an organized and clean manner. So you don't have to clog up your index.js file with a bunch of event listeners that can be put in their own respective files. So let's go ahead and start out. In the last episode, we created our first event listener, which listens on the ready events. So whenever a client or the client goes on online or gets ready. We won't be needing that code inside of our index.js file because we're going to be creating an event handler that will handle a lot of events in their own respective uh, files. So we can delete that. And if we go up here to the intents, we're only receiving um, the guide and the member intents. We would like to receive every single intent uh, to create events, basically. So if you click on the link in the description, it's going to take you to this website. You can select the specific events that you're going to be using, or you can just uh, get all of the events to your bot, which I don't really recommend, but we'll do it anyway. I will leave also the intents number in the description if you want to copy it. So we're going to copy the intents number after selecting every single event. We can I go to our index.js file and replace the three with the actual events or intents number. Once that is done, we're going to go to, into our main folder and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it handlers. And then we're going to create another folder inside of our main folder and we're going to call it validation. Inside of the validation folder, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it event names.js and then here you're going to click on the second link in the description which will take you to the source bin uh, uh, website where you can copy all of this code here that i wrote and paste it inside of this events name folder what this is is every single possible event that uh, discord will allow you to listen to. i went ahead and created an array of it so you can validate this event names inside of your event handler so after that is done you're gonna go to your handlers folder and you're gonna create a new file and you're gonna call it events dot js and here we'll be uh, writing the code for our handler now we need to download a package called globe to be able to read the files inside of a category or inside of the folder so you go to your terminal and you type npm i globe and that should install the package for you now to require this event uh, names into our events uh, handler we're gonna be uh, that's why we uh, use model export so we can export this model or this array so we're gonna require this array into our events handler file so we're gonna type const Inside of that curly brackets, we're going to type events, the same array name that we put here, equals to require. And then here we're going to require the file location. So in this case, dot dot slash validation slash event names. And now we have imported or exported our events array to this file. Now here we're going to require uh, something called promise file from the util package that's installed by default. So we're going to type const. We're going to leave the object empty and then we're going to require util just like this and inside of the object now we can type p and it will auto fill to promiseify and now we're going to be needing to require a package called globe so we type const globe equals require globe that's the same package that we downloaded or installed a couple of seconds ago all right here now we're going to promiseify the globe package so what we're going to type is const pj equals to promiseify and inside of this uh, round brackets we're gonna pass in the loop now here we're gonna type model.exports and we're gonna async the client and create an error function and here we're gonna um, type our code or our main code for our events handler but before we do so so we can console log what event we created and what uh, what errors we got we're gonna install a package called sc table i'm pretty sure so go to your terminal and type npm i a s c i i dash table and that should download that package now we should import it our inside of this file so we can go down here and type const const a s c i i equals to require the ASCII table just like this and now inside of the model exports we're going to create a table so or we're going to define what a table is we're going to type const table equals to in you this name whatever it is uh, and here we're going to select the name for the the table we're going to call it events loaded so we can console log in a nice matter what events or 
how many events we loaded after that is done we're gonna go down a couple more lines and then here we're gonna open this round brackets and type await we're gonna wait p j which we defined over here to be promised promisified globe and here we're gonna pass in or we're gonna type tactics dollar sign and uh, brackets we're gonna type process dot cwd which is the process window which is this main file leaks code that i named it and we're gonna put in the uh, round pre round uh, brackets and then here we're gonna type slash and before we do anything else we're gonna create an our actual event or uh, yeah events folder so we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it events and inside of that folder we're gonna create categories so the first category that we're gonna create is clients all right so now we go back here and we're gonna type slash events the actual name of the folder that we created uh, which is called events now we're gonna put slash star to pick any category or any uh, uh, folder inside of that events folder which can be categorized now slash uh, another star and then here we're gonna type dot js so it's gonna go inside of our events uh, folder inside of any of the categories and it's gonna take every single file with that ends with dot js and it's gonna basically we're gonna define it as for each file inside of this events uh, categories it's gonna be an event and here now we're gonna dot map so we're gonna map the files because we're gonna get an array of the file uh, locations we're gonna async file and create an error function and here we're gonna define the event so const event equals to require and here we're gonna require the file that we passed in over here or define each one of these files as the file now we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna validate our event name so here we're gonna type if exclamation mark events which we imported from the event names dot includes which is case sensitive like the discord events and then here we're gonna pass in the event dot name or if there isn't any event name so if exclamation mark event name then we're gonna execute the code inside of this code block which is first of all we need to define where that file is so type const l equals to file dot split and we're gonna split on the slashes and then here we're gonna create a new table and type await table dot add row here we're gonna add a row and the name of the row is going to be event.name or we're going to type missing if there isn't an event name so now we're going to put a comma at the end of the back tick and here we can add an emoji by pressing windows and the dot we can add whatever emoji uh, you want i will add for example uh, this emoji inside of obviously back ticks and now here we're going to type event name is either invalid or missing and now we're gonna uh, actually link the location of that event file so we're gonna type dollar sign and the brackets I type l the six um, or if you know how arrays work we're gonna choose this uh, this the six slash plus we're gonna put a slash here and plus l seven so the seven argument the seventh argument of the string simple now we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna return why we're returning so we don't crash the bot um there's a lot of mistakes that happen so we can we're returning so we don't crash the bot so we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna check if event dot once so if the event type is a once we're gonna run the event as once we're gonna type client dot once event dot name and then here we're gonna pass in the args they create an error function and type event.execute we're gonna execute the event with the args first then the client remember this um, this these parameters placements so basically if you create an event for example a uh, update member or member update you're gonna pass in the the old member and the new member before you pass in the client i'm gonna explain that later in the episodes so now we're gonna type else and we're gonna copy this line over here and paste it here and change the once to on so if the event uh, isn't a once event then we're gonna assume it's an own event 
All right, now that that is done, we can escape out of this. And here we're gonna type await table dot add row. And here we're gonna type event dot name. And here we're gonna type or add an emoji saying that the event loaded. So we loaded that event uh, name. So let's uh, go over here. We can add this for example and type here says full just like this. And now we exit out of this map and type console console.log table to string just like this we exit out of this and that should be it for our events handler and the validation it's a pretty cool handler um so yeah so let's try it out if you want so if you remember we removed the client already events from here we can replace it with yeah we're gonna actually require the events handler inside of this file so we're gonna type require require dot slash handlers slash events and we're gonna pass in the client just like this all right uh, and now we're gonna create our first event the one that we deleted from here so we're gonna go into our events folder inside of the client category we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it ready dot js and here we're gonna model.exports the name of the event is going to be ready the type of it is going to be one set to true and now here we're going to execute the client let's don't forget the comma and we're going to type console.log the client is now ready now let's start our bot and check if any error happens we're going to solve it so we type node space dot and like we see here, events loaded, ready, successful. The client is now ready. Now, if we go to our Discord server, we should see that the client is now ready. And here we can set the status, so client.user. And if you don't see the auto completion, you can require the parameters. So here you're gonna type clients and it's all, it's gonna import it. And then you can type the client parameters like this. So at param client equals to clients and now we should see the auto completion sorry it should be here over the execute just like this and now we should see client.user.set activity auto completed here we can type hello and the type of it's gonna be watching all right let's restart the bot and now we should see that the bot is online with the hello uh, status or activity uh, but now let's try our validation method. So let's set the ready to be R A E with a capital. Now we're gonna restart our bot. And like you see here, event name is either invalid or missing and it's gonna tell us in what category and what the file name is. Now if we make it right again, restart the bot, you can see that the event has been loaded. It's pretty simple and cool way to handle your events. You can create as many categories as you, as you want and as many events as you want without a single problem. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one.